What's going on everybody? In this video, I'm gonna document what I eat on the days that I eat. And this doesn't go for every feeding day. This is just kind of how I go about it. I see what's in the fridge, I put it in my macros, and then we just go with it. So we'll, we'll see where the day takes us. But um, yeah, so I'm just gonna document what I eat today and show you what I do. I'm gonna go to the gym and do some chest. So hopefully that goes good. Uh, yeah, so here we go. Thanks for watching. So the first thing I'm gonna have today that has any sort of calories in it is gonna be coffee. And that is one tablespoon of this, which is pretty much nothing. And then two tablespoons of this uh, silk almond milk because my stomach is weak bodied and I can't drink regular milk or I'll uh, get sick everywhere. So I have this as a pre-workout. I'll probably drink, uh, uh, let's see. We have these, these cups. I'll probably drink two or three of these cups of water and then I'll go to the gym and I'll put those uh, macros here for you for the pre-workout. Alrighty, so now we're gonna go do chest. Uh, I'll try to get some of that. We're gonna ride the old BC Kletha over here and uh, go get some chest gains, so. So this is the first time that I've recorded in public and it's kind of weird. So I'm doing this for you guys. So <clears throat> leave a comment or something to support me doing this uh, malarkey, if you know what I'm saying. So anyway, um, the first thing I'm gonna do, I warmed up a little bit, but the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, 225 per set of 10. And then I'm gonna do these like weird variation and you'll see me when I do it, I guess. but. I'm gonna do this uh, this bench press thing with just uh, 45s on it for uh, for a set of five, but you do three movements for the five. You'll see. Anyway, here we go. So. Uh, I should be going heavier, but I'm not because there's nobody here to spot me and I feel weird doing this in public. So with the camera at least, working out I'm good with. Being on film while working out is kind of weird. So anyway, I'm gonna do that three. No, well, I did one first, so I'll do this. Yeah, I guess I will do this three more times. I'll do this for a set of five and then I'll do, uh, I'll move on to, um, cables I guess and then some decline and incline and then I'll be done but generally this is what I'm gonna do today so just thought I'd give you a little little snippet all right anyway yeah so I'm gonna do a snatch to finish the chest day off um, I'll go over what all I did earlier Already outside because it's kind of weird filming and uh, being in here. So. I'm actually squatting down all the way and stuff. Usually I can power 185, like, like I can squat, you know, a little bit and get it, but like I'm dropping my booty all the way down. So yeah, that, and I kind of want to keep filming, but these GoPro batteries are not good. 
So that's kind of the first thing I'm learning about GoPro because I've just been using this for about three or four days now. That's the bad part about GoPro is that the the batteries don't last at all. So like I've only been, I recorded me riding my motorcycle over here, benching, um, doing the, the cable flies and then the snatch. And this thing is almost dead. So that's kind of the, I guess the downside. But anyway, I'm gonna get back I'm gonna shoot for 25 reps at 185. I probably, honestly, I need to be doing like, probably like 10 reps at 225. But you know, I don't have anybody to do this with. It's kind of hard to like, for me at least, I feel like it's hard to push myself. But after that, uh, actually I'll go ahead and go over with you now. Um, what I've already done so far, was I did the bench. I did 10 reps at 225 and then uh, keep burping. And then I did that uh, chest machine thing, chest press or whatever. I did five uh, reps of those. So really 15 reps because it's the each arm, whatever. Anyway, um, then I did flies. Then I did incline bench with dumbbells. Then I did dumbbell flies. Then I did, I, and I did muscle ups. I did five sets of five muscle ups, but I can only do like at most four at a time, so I have to break them up. But I did the muscle ups and I have little gardening gloves for that because my hands get all ripped up. Um, and then, so what else was there? That was about it. I mean, I, I did some push ups in between. I did some bent over cable uh, flies that somebody taught me the other day. And uh, that's it, so I'm gonna, go finish these snatches turn this off just for a recap here i woke up around 10. i did the first drank my pre-workout at like 11. i got here at like 12 31 because i had to wait on my wife to get the car back because i have my motorcycle sticker my registration sticker that i had to put on uh before i could come here so i i would imagine i'm like an hour deep into the workout and saying all this, the reason why I'm telling you is because I haven't eaten since um, today's Saturday. I haven't eaten since Thursday. Thursday was the last day I ate. So I, I'm going on like, I would imagine, I mean, I, I would say at least a day and a half. Because I, I think my last meal was Thursday night at, um, Thursday night at, roughly 10 o'clock, maybe nine, and it's almost two now on Saturday. So, you know, roughly day and a half. But anyway, just to give you an idea of, I guess, what, what it's like working out a day and a half without it. To me, I don't notice a difference. It doesn't, doesn't really bother me none. All right, well, I'm gonna go uh, do my snatches and quit stalling. Um, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys here in a minute. All righty, so. Um, I actually finished my uh, set of 25, which was pretty rough. It took me like 20 minutes, which is just kind of sad because when I was like 17, I was doing, I, well, I was, when I was 17, I was snatching like 235. And I'm not doing that now, really. I mean, I'm, I'm working it, you know, 185, 195. So it's just, it kind of sucks, but it is what it is. I mean, I don't, I don't do that. Back then I was lifting heavy all the time. That's all I wanted to do. And that's all I wanted to be good at. So like, I didn't care what I looked like. I just cared about lifting a lot of weight. And for me back then I was 155 doing, uh, doing, you know, 235. So it, it was pretty cool. But now I'm 180 and I'm still snatching 235, 245. So it's not really that impressive. But anyway, we're going home and, uh, and we'll see what we got to eat at the house. So this is the first meal, just six eggs, uh, Two thirds cup of cheese and some buffalo chicken sauce. Sorry for the messy table. You know that's that's how we do around here. So, yep. 
So here we are back again uh, at the computer where I've been editing this video for the past three hours because the GoPro decided to lose um, or corrupt all the, the video. So I had to re-download it again and then save it to the computer. Long story anyway, it sucked. And now I'm going to do some homework. So I'm going to knock some homework out and then hopefully by the time I get done with that, I'll be hungry again and then we'll keep on going. So, I'm just going to talk about this last little bit. Um, so you see that I ate uh, 2,600 calories in one meal. That's the problem with uh, alternate day fasting, in my opinion, is that you can get into these routes where, obviously, today, I didn't plan out what I was going to eat. I didn't eat in time. I had to fit in all my calories in a small window. So it's just like, what's fast and, you know, what can I go get and whatever. So you end up eating kind of crap. And I mean, I'm still going to, I'm still going to lose weight because my total calories are still under um, what they need to be for me to cut. But at the same time, the foods that you're cutting with are also going to affect how much uh, energy you have, how you feel during the day, um, that kind of thing. So... I don't know, it's it's kind of like a, it's it's a rough thing to kind of mess with, so I'm not setting an example for anybody, I'm not saying go buy fast food if you, if you um, don't hit your macros for the day or whatever, this is just what I, I did today because I ran out of time, so I'll give you my, uh, my breakdown of my calories or whatever, or not my calories, my breakdown of my macros uh, for the end of the day, and I hit them almost perfectly for my calories, but if you look at my, um, which I will right now, I'll show you too on the screen here, but if you look at my protein, I'm under my carbs, I'm over my fats, I'm under my proteins, but I'm right on to my calories. So, it, I mean, it's up to you to, to kind of fill, fill it out and see what works for you. Today, I definitely um, did some pretty lightweight, but that's that's the way that I've been training here over the past year or so as I've been instead of squatting like five sets of five at like four fifty five, you know, four seventy five, I'll do like three fifteen for sets of ten. Or I'll do three fifteen for five but I'll superset it with like three other exercises. So I've been I've been really trying to uh get away from the heavier weights and use more reps and just concentrate on form and just go slower. Like, instead of, like, say on bench, instead of bouncing the bar off of my chest with 315, which I can definitely do, I just go slow and I do 10 at 225, and then I superset it with, um, with the chest press. So it's, I don't know, it's, this is, this is all just my philosophy. I'm not saying that it's the best one. I'm not saying that you should do it. This is just what I do, and I'm sharing it, so... I appreciate you guys for watching. Thanks for uh, looking at this video. This one was a pain in the butt because of the deleting of the, the files or whatever with this GoPro. And I still haven't figured it out because the second time I did it, none of them corrupted. So I don't know what's really how to fix it. But I'm thinking that something's wrong with the software on this GoPro. But we'll see. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you.